Hey guys and welcome back. This is uh, day three, I think. I lost track. <laughs> I'm on vacation. Who's counting? <laughs> I am at the uh, Mayflower Bacawena National Park. There's the official take your picture sign. I have to stop here on my way back and take the official picture. <laughs> In the meantime, I have you. So we're gonna go hiking. There's some uh, some Mayan ruins back here. I'll probably spend uh, three or four hours hiking around, um, looking at different ones. And these are some of the, let's say lesser known, less famous Mayan ruins in Belize. Mostly because they weren't very big to begin with, just a couple small pyramids, and some, uh, some small like holy areas, if you will. And uh, Nobody really came and dug them up. They're all pretty much reclaimed by nature. So, uh, reverse a small river here. So of course, you know, they're not like the, the mighty Mayan temples or anything like that that's gonna attract people's attention. In fact, if you look at, uh, let me see if I say this right, Tauwiz. Mayan ruins on Google. They have one review. They've been here for centuries and only one person bothered to hike back there, take pictures, and post a review on Google. Not saying anything about it, right? There is a resort back here, and of course, all the touristy stuff that goes with it the zip line tours and the whitewater rafting, or the, just the rafting rather. But you can also just come into the park and just go hike back and see the ruins. You don't have to pay the Americans for their stuffs. So, <laughs> um, so right now I think I'm hiking to um, a waterfall. Uh, hindsight, I should have taken a picture of the map, <laughs> but yeah, we'll see where we end up. Oh boy. Not that I'm afraid of getting wet or anything, but some seriously soupy mud. So here's an example of what I was talking about. Mantezum Temple Mound and buried underneath all the foliage is a small pyramid. Just can't see it. So the uh, the park ranger was telling me that um, <clears throat> 2001 there was a professor that had come back here and he kind of had an inkling that these were here and he kind of cleared them off a little bit and cleaned them up and did some some looking to see if there was anything important there or anything of any educational value and <coughs> excuse me they got uh you know, they found some, some hieroglyphs and some writings and stuff like that. And, and that was pretty much it. But they didn't have the, the funding to, to continue the uh, excavation of the, the temple. And kind of just grew back over. So that's what you get to look at now. All right, so here was... The waterfall. Um, new waterfall, antelope waterfall. Let's go to both of them. The antelope trail looks dry. This one does not. <laughs> so let's start with this one. <laughs> uh, there's not going to be any more ruins back here. 
we're just gonna go, whoop, that was all, all soup. We're just gonna go find the waterfall. So I didn't film any of the drive in here. Um, walk across the log here. <laughs> I, uh, I drove oh, probably an hour and a half south from where I'm staying. Uh, real pretty, like the rest of Belize. I, I could post, you know, five hour videos every day of just scenery down here. Uh, you really just have to come experience it if you haven't been here before. Just, just take the trip and come do it. <laughs> uh, bring bug spray, a, a lot of bug spray. <laughs> anyway, so like I said, I didn't really film any of that. Um, I thought about filming the road coming in here, but again, it's kind of like the rest of the roads. But this one is a little bit more remote, a little bit harder to get to. Uh, like I said, it's not really. Uh, a major tourist attraction. It's kind of more of a you have to want to go see it kind of thing. Uh, and a lot of us don't come to vac on vacation to go hiking, especially if you look like me. <laughs> so <laughs> taking my cheeseburgers on vacation too. <clears throat> and I feel bad for how much I'm panting, but it's hard to breathe. There's more oxygen here, of course, than in Colorado, but uh it is like 99% humidity and I feel like I take a deep breath and get pneumonia. It's just like half water every time you take a breath. Don't even need to bring water with me. I just got to take a deep breath and I'm hydrated. <laughs> Enough bickering. <laughs> it is very remote jungle. And I can imagine how incredibly difficult it would have been to find anything back here if you were, even if you knew that there was a pyramid that had been buried underneath the floor and fauna. Trying to find it, I'm sure, would be a nearly impossible task. <clears throat> now, waterfalls, even the really remote waterfalls, you can pretty much credit their discovery to the Aborigines because you know when you're when you're moving as a people you're gonna follow water right water is a lifeline obviously so you can bet that as people migrated through the area they followed rivers and streams and some of them probably used the rivers and streams to move about on canoes they definitely would walk along them so they would have water nearby. So you can pretty much just guarantee that all the waterfalls, no matter how remote, were discovered by Aborigine. And they were probably marked on some sort of maps or passed down through generations uh, by stories. And a lot of cultures saw waterfalls as a something of the gods or some supernatural force so uh, finding waterfalls was easy so I suppose you could use that hey there's four waterfalls in the area here there's got to be temples right so yeah, that was probably a key landmark that was used in the discovery of some of these oh look a rest area for weary travelers <laughs> I promised that this was only going to take 45 minutes worth of hiking. So, uh, the end is near. <laughs> so I've seen several of these trails of ants. Just running along carrying bits of leaves. I'm like, look how big that leaf is compared to that guy. 
That's amazing. And there's these like ant holes here that they're working around. This trail is like a visible trail up through the, the jungle where these ants are crawling, just running back and forth on this highway. How cool is that? Like growing up in the mountains, I saw game trails all the time, you know, where the deer ran and whatnot, but I've never seen an ant highway through the jungle. <laughs> That's super cool. The sign said steep. <sighs> that usually means no fat people. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm at sea level, huh? <laughs> so the park ranger, the guide, whatever, uh, he was telling me that this waterfall was like a thousand feet tall. So I suppose if you're starting out at the river, that means you gotta hike up a thousand feet, right? When I used to be young, this never even bothered me. But now I'm like a Cheetos commercial. <laughs> and Cheetos don't have any energy in them. So, this is our second of two rest areas on our way. And uh, I'm gonna capitalize on this one. Uh, sit here for a minute and get eaten by bugs. Well, the good news is it's all forestry covered. <laughs> I have a decent canopy. So I'm not out hiking in the, the beating sun, at least. I think we're a little more than halfway. Um, the trail looks flat on the camera. Has started to go downhill. So I don't know how I feel about that. But I'm pretty sure I can hear a waterfall in the distance very faintly. So I think we're getting close. I'm curious. Uh, hang on, Let's stop and observe the ants. You know, it's biblical to watch the ants. It's amazing how far these guys are walking. Like, the trail was back there coming out of the forest and it just keeps going. Like, still going, still going, still going. Here it goes back into the forest. I just had some, they found a leaf they really liked and they couldn't find one closer. I guess, I don't know. It's amazing. But it kind of goes along with what I was wondering about this trail, like, like I said before, we can assume the Aborigines discovered the waterfall and they probably found a way to either hike up or down it, one way or the other, depending on which way they were migrating. So, do we think that they made this trail? Do we think that the Forest Service made this trail? We can bet that the Forest Service has probably improved or maintained the trail, but the original carving of the trail was the trail here, or did it possibly follow the river? I'll stop talking, maybe you guys can hear the waterfall too. Hit the thumbs up button if you could hear it. <laughs> it's getting louder and louder very quickly, so that's exciting because I know I'm almost there. 
and then I'm gonna jump in and go off it because <laughs> I don't want to walk back down. <laughs> I found the bottom of it anyway and now it definitely gets steep there are staircases and ropes but man this is gorgeous so I got to the first set of stairs and uh, it looks like this that's encouraging <laughs> I'll like walk around it I guess these ones are more natural staircases, but uh, that is not stairs at all. I feel like I'm on an episode of Wipeout. Less foam. Nothing quite like hiking moss covered rocks ah, to get your day going. Yeah, buddy. Ugh. Ugh. Ah, now I feel like it's sunset. It's thick and dark. Ooh. Well, look at this one. This is abrupt. Ah. Word of warning, if you're on crutches, this may not be the trail for you. Hell, I'm not on crutches. <laughs> this is not the trail for me. So, cardio one, Cheeto zero. Well, I had to stop and take a break. My, uh, my heart rate was getting up towards 200. This is... The camera doesn't do it justice. And right here, of course, it's all nice and wet. And again, not doing it justice. And that is more or less straight down. So, don't fall. So I became a bump on this log for about 15 minutes. Let my heart rate come back down. So I'm at uh, 143 now. Sipped a little bit of water. I really think we're pretty close. I think another five minutes of decent uh, college try. Should be up at the top. I'm told there's a pool up there. I might uh, go skinny dipping. Well, I should be doing this with two hands. <sighs> Falls are always good on YouTube, so I'm gonna keep the camera rolling. <sighs> and of course, seeing what's ahead. I really don't wanna do this. I mean, I'm, I like to consider myself an outdoorsy person. Clearly I don't work out. You don't have to be a, any kind of professional to realize that. It seems like it'll be worth the view when I get up there, but I mean, from where I'm standing to where the trail disappears, is probably 30 yards.
and it goes up about 25 feet. That's two and a half stories. Maybe not even 30 yards, might only be 50 feet. I'll let your math geniuses tell me the difference. It definitely is steep, and from where it disappears, it looks like it cuts back and goes actually almost straight above me right here. I thought the thousand foot fall was from the top to the bottom. I think they meant a thousand foot elevation change from when you first see it. I can still see it way down there. Although in the sign's defense, it is more of a river, not a waterfall. Uh, good old fashioned H2O. Mm. Not a sponsor. Check out this nifty little tree. It has like a little cave in its roots. How cool is that? <laughs> How cool is this? Yeah, that's me looking at my feet, and there's the trail. You know, uh, there's something like 146 corpses on Everest. <clears throat> Maybe more. And there's only like <clears throat> 2,800 people or something like that that's ever climbed it. So it's quite a percentage of corpses on Everest. And every one of those frozen corpses was once a highly motivated individual that apparently didn't respect their own limits. Oh. I'm going to use that to make myself feel better for not making it to the top of this mountain. Yeah. <clears throat> Granted, <clears throat> everybody who's ever looked at Mount Everest in their life, in person, <clears throat> is in better shape than I am, so... Really not doing anybody any good with this analogy. Here's the trail now. It used to go through there. That looks like it sucked. <clears throat> There's probably a billion dollars worth of gold sitting at the top of this trail on the edge of that waterfall. Oh, and schmucks like me will never know. So, uh, life goals for next year, I guess, is, uh, Let's face it, build a helicopter and fly to the top. <laughs> you think if I had like a... <clears throat> excuse me, a heavy lift drone that could pick up like 300 pounds, I could put a handicap sticker on it and tell them it was a wheelchair? That would fly, right? Pun intended. The internet says that the tourism industry in Belize is like five billion a year or something. I tend to think that number's a little bit high, but I suppose if all the cruise ships stopping in port picked up fuel oil, they could probably account for like two billion of that just in fuel sales, right? Auto fuel here is uh, uh, 13 and a half. Belize, so that's seven bucks a gallon US. <clears throat> Give or take a penny or two. So, 
all the buses and tenders that they use to service the cruise ships. So I, I think maybe you could say three billion of that is fuel sales. But tourists come down here for everything. They fly down to the Keys, and they hang out on the resorts. That's the main, main, main attraction is the resorts over there. Very few people come to the mainland. The cruise port in Belize City isn't even a port. They just park off the coast and they go get you in a boat. But Belize City has no beach. In fact, to find a beach, you have to go like an hour either north or south. So the tourists that don't take the uh, cruise ship sponsored activities end up just shopping a lot. So that increases taxi revenue and sales there. Plus sales tax on everything is like 12 and a half percent. Of the people who come to Belize to spend seven billion dollars, how many of them you think ever make this trail? Tenth of one percent? Maybe. I don't know. Useless wondering. Probably cut this part out. So this is the park overview map. It's uh, 7,000 acres of protected national park. So this is where I am. I parked in here. And this was where I hiked. Here's that ruin I showed you at the beginning. All the way up to the waterfall. Steep. That's the one I didn't go to. That creek you saw there in the beginning that I walked across. <sighs> that was a that was a workout. I'm gonna go find some place that sells juice. Well guys, that's it for today's adventure. Thanks again for joining me as always, and uh look forward to see you on the next one. I uh I feel tired. <laughs> it's been a good day. <laughs> but uh, again, thank you for joining me. And we'll, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. So I'm sitting here editing today's video. And apparently, after the end of that hike, all the rest of the videos were corrupted. So, the other ruins I went to see, the footage of Dangriga, apparently doesn't exist. So, I mean, I suppose the right thing to do would just be go back. <laughs> I do have another week here. If I run out of stuff to do, I'll go back. Uh, at least those hikes are easy. It's it's really flat. I mean, it was like a 15-minute walk out to the one and maybe a 25 out to the other. Real flat, easy hikes. Um, and I, I enjoyed them, so I'll probably just go back and do them. But unfortunately, they won't be in this video.